Quentin. <laughs> yes. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Good. You're back, and uh, thank you all for watching. Welcome. Uh, we have Quentin blindfolded again, and uh, this time we're going to just, we you know, <sighs> we're going to demo your guitar. People are asking, what does Quentin play? What's going on? And so you brought your guitar down. I brought my guitar. Yeah. I figured I'd give a little, you know, background on when, I, when I'm giving my impressions of all the guitars that we're playing, you know, maybe it would be helpful to, for folks who are interested to to hear what my, you know, what my yeah. baseline is, what yeah. my primary reference instrument is. Uh, I like it. So we'll see how that yeah, goes. But we're gonna, that, in that spirit, you guys decided to punish me. We did. With, we're going to uh, blindfold you again. Yeah. And now we're going to, we said, well, let's just see if you can find your guitar. So we have about <sighs> seven or eight guitars here, right? Yeah. And then we want to see oh, if you can recognize seven, which seven or one. eight. Yeah, right. You have seven or eight? Yeah. I thought it was going to be like I think, three or four. But. Yeah. No. So we want to just see if you know <sighs> which one is yours right off the bat. And oh. then we're going to do you know, maybe a separate video of you and your guitar. I'm glad we're doing this with guitars and not spouses. Yeah. That would be, <laughs> I'm just saying that would, that, that would, would be, be a, tough. That would be hilarious like, would you, and awful. Like just like a hand, hold the hand and like <laughs> yeah. some are rougher and well, like I think you maybe, just know. Well, Cause we're going by sound. Yeah. Maybe I could get like random uh, yelling. Yeah. Yeah. That or means, smells. No, I don't want to no. go there. That's well, uh, perfume is very distinctive. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So here we go. Let's, uh... All right, I'm, uh, like, so this is the, the, they're all dreadnoughts. That's what we said. Yeah. The key is to not let me, so they're not going to have cutaways, because if it's, you know, if I had no, a no. cutaway, that would yeah. give away. And I'm going to, when you put it in my left hand, be careful to make sure that I don't get the headstock, because sometimes okay. that can give it away, too. Okay. So I'm just I'll, standing uh, here, yep. ready. And you just say, yeah, you just say, you just say, maybe give, tell me, do you like right. the guitar real quick? Do you yeah. like it? And... Heck yeah, that's mine. Heck no, that is not mine. I okay. know I'm not. I'm no. I'm no <laughs> this moron. Is, this is. This is. You know? oh. Okay. This is not mine. Okay. I can tell you that much because. Okay. Uh, well, for reasons we'll get into. <laughs> this is. Uh, It's, it's, it's okay. Not yours. It's not mine. It's okay. I don't guess um, what it is. Oh, yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know. You've got like fifty different types of makes. It's any got clue. any clue. Any brand. Uh, this first one. Not that one. The first one. This is this is not the same guitar. This is the second one. No, I just this, gave you the one. Okay. Yeah. So th what I feel immediately though is this has got the first one had a different neck. I can feel some uh, green in the neck. This is again. Uh, it, It, Do you like it? I like it. Uh, it's got more bass than the first one. I gotta get closer. I don't think this one's mine. I, I wait because uh, I'll just give a little bit away. My one of the reasons I like my guitar is got a particularly uh, sub somewhat wider neck. The strings are usually right. spread a little wide. You like it. Uh, Hand the bait. I feel like you know, you know, don't want to try this in like the neonatal work, right? Yeah. Hand me the newborn. Oh, okay. So this one has a different feel. Uh, it, it feels firm. It's okay. It's got some depth. It's got a nice tone. It doesn't have the projection that I would typically want to hear again, but it's not for everybody. For me, I like... It sounds a little subdued compared to the others, but it's got a nice tone. It's not, it's just, it's not like, it's not, it's not a canon, but the tone it's producing sounds nice. That was not my guitar, I don't think. Okay. Boom. I gotta stay, keep me away from the, the edge too, because I like this. Let's see, I'm touching the tuners, which is also probably not something I should do. I 
like this. go back. Which guitar number is this? That is four. 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 I'm gonna I wanna play a few more. But this if I wish this was mine. My head's going, man, I that sounds really nice. It's got a nice depth. It spreads uh, around the low through the mids a little bit. It's a nice woody sound. Anyway, okay. I'm so we don't know. I don't know. That's, not sure. I don't think that's mine, but I'm I I got a reserve. This okay. is this is humiliating. Boom. Okay. Uh, this is not my guitar. It's very tight. So what by tight I mean that it's uh, uh, the it's, it feels like the tone is really shifted towards the mids and highs more, not so much on the low end. It's, 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 yeah, it's not, it's not very, if this was an EQ, it'd be kind of flat and, and moving up through the mids. And okay. okay. You know that's not yours. Not mine. Sorry. Okay. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, this is. Only like 10 more to go. Awesome. At least my odds are decreasing of getting it right. <laughs> This one has a wide neck. feel if, to my hand it feels like a wider neck I if I was gonna guess so far I'd say this one's mine I hope I, I'm probably looking like an idiot right now that's not it but that's all right okay. let's uh we'll this is on, this is honest this is totally true this is a crazy test to okay. show you how imperfect my ears are there we go one more all right I don't Oh gosh, this is humiliating. This one has a nice neck too. I like this guitar too. Between the between this one and the last one, I would probably go with the last one. Okay. Uh, I like this one a lot though. It okay. Sounds, it's, it's got a lot of that's the tone good. sounds really good. Okay, that's good. Oh, this okay, is, we got one more. Oh no, this is really one, one more. This is really this is potentially very very embarrassing. Uh, I really like the sound of this one. Oh, if it's coming through the mic, hopefully it's got a lot of growl. There's a really solid lower end that's supporting and put some clarity. Thank you. I, I, I really like the sound of this guitar. Okay. But is it yours? No, this is not okay. <laughs> Which you can, is you know that right away, right? Well, I I wouldn't say right away. It's uh, okay. but yeah, it was it was got, pretty clear. Then we got one other little thing, special oh. treat for you. Oh no, we're gonna do a taste test. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what this is. <laughs> Ready? This is oh, this is the ultimate game of trust. It is. Ready? No, Open what if, your mouth. We're friends, no, right? Like, just, okay. Just put it in my hand. Put it in your mouth. Don't. You know. Uh. Mm. Tell me what that is. Mm. It's like a, it's like a vanilla strawberry wafer, there you something. Go. It is. It's a chocolate wafer. Chocolate See, wafer. That was mm. pretty good. I was gonna try to do something like really awkward and weird, but 
Yeah. That was being nice to him. That was See, a good little treat. Yeah, you know, there are, there are fraternities getting shut down for that level <laughs> of hazing, so you want to be careful what you subject to. All right. Me, subject me to on camera. All right. Take your blindfold off. Can I take it off? Yeah. Oh, we're good to go. How did I do? You did good. Yeah. You want to know what you did? Oh, no. Let me show you what you did. Uh, this one, you weren't sure if that was your guitar or not. Mm -hmm. This is the one I said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is... What is this? Well, it's a Martin. Okay. That's a Martin D45. It's a mm -hmm. used one that we have here in the store. Mm -hmm. And it's actually Brazilian rosewood. Oh, yeah. And, I, and this is your guitar. Did I pick my guitar? You really were torn on this one. Mm -hmm. You weren't sure. This is the, the Brazilian rosewood D45. We have a used one. It's a great guitar. Yeah, sounded really nice. But you really were nice. kind of not sure. The other one was the Eastman Dreadnought. Really? That was, it was the, the other one. Yeah, that was the one in the end you were kind of... Mm, I like it, but... I'll have to mm. rewind and see what yeah, you we'll said. Confirm. I don't remember now. But it was the Eastman and this one where you were kind of torn, but I feel like you knew that was yours. It's... It's, it's but, but you really... But doubt. It's... Well, I mean, you put the blindfold on, yeah. and it's surprising the, how weird it is. Yeah. Because, like, oh, yeah, I, you know, it will... Um, You'd think you'd nail it in a second, but it's not as easy it's as... It's definitely not as easy as you think. And... You know, we're trying to be uh, trying to be fair. So this, I mean, I didn't know which guitars were going to be. I presume right. there were going to be some Martins and other, you know, it was right. all going to be dreadnoughts. Trying to get something similar to yours, so right. you kind of had to struggle a little. Um, bit. And I'll, I'll go out on a limb and say that there are other little things that can contribute to sound. You know, my strings are probably not as fresh. Some strings might be fresher than others, but yeah. and that can affect how I perceive it. But it's with the blindfold on. It's a different deal. It's scary. Yeah. It's. <laughs> Because you want to, you want to trust in your ears. Yeah. Uh, you want to believe that your ears are telling you right. what you think they are. But well, it, ironically, one mm -hmm. of the guitars is a two hundred dollar guitar, and yeah. you liked it yeah. a lot. Yeah. Which, it, which you should, because it's a great guitar. I think that's that's the the real value of putting a blindfold on. I mean, yeah. I if it were up to me. Um, this is. I think this should be a new feature for every acoustic guitar, where you you have yeah. the blindfolds in your acoustic rooms, and you yeah, have right. your customers say, "I like this one, I like this yeah. one, I like this one," and yeah. then you have them put the blindfold on, yeah. and you do what we just did, hand it, and yeah. say, "Okay, remove all other bias, yeah. just listen to it." I think so too. That's you know? a good idea because mm -hmm. everyone's different. Everyone has different ears. Everyone has different. Like yeah. I have no high end hearing. I can't hear anything <laughs> above like years a of, certain of yes. heavy metal drumming. Exactly. Yeah. And. Uh, so everyone's so different in what they like and, mm -hmm. and feel. First, you're always driven visually. I think a lot of people are. Yeah. But then at that point, you know, the tone and the you got to have the right neck. But then it's all about the tone that you like. That's right. the thing about but guitars. You know, that's that's me and that's what I like. Some people, yeah. uh, maybe they, they're just, um, they, get, they got three chords and they want to front a band. Yeah. And maybe for them it is more about the aesthetics. And that's totally fine, too. And they might not. Be as concerned about how it's going to sound for you know the um and i'm not uh, an audiophile that really picks out subtle distinctions mm -hmm. at least not i don't perceive myself that way uh but these types of comparisons where you remove yeah. <laughs> those other right. senses and yeah it's, it's i mean it's scary different i'm not daredevil you know i can't like <laughs> see with my ears or anything next There's time a, i'm going to bring some like squid and <laughs> some like weird sauces, and we're gonna we're gonna yeah. get deeper Here into the here's taste the, testing. Uh, here's the ancho yep. wasabi yep. Uh, eye rub. You know, <laughs> just tap right up underneath the good man. Quentin, this is fun. You're this a, is you're a sport. This is uh, yeah. this is nerve wracking. Yeah. It, um, so yeah, this I, is. I think you got it. You I think you were there, but you, I don't know. you had a little doubt. I, I over the I'm over very, the D45. And I'm kind of conservative. Well, I'm glad that I picked the D45 as yeah. the one that I would. Compare yeah. my guitars, at least my yeah. ears. Um, these ma this made a great. <laughs> that's a good ear muff. <laughs> and uh, by the good way, ear muff, and now it's our new that's blindfold. Martin, uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking you did good. Maybe this should be a feature for for I think we'll guitar do shops. We'll do more. Um, we'll do more stuff. We'll do yeah. more blindfolds, and uh, I think we'll talk about this one a little bit. And yeah. um, I don't well, know. Let's I'm, do another video. I'm, I'm talk curious about to see your guitar. how it's. I want to give a shout out to our man behind the the camera, Dustin. Yeah. He's been doing a fantastic job. Uh, the last couple. Uh, videos that I, it's we don't have a metronome when I'm playing at the end, so it's me trying to keep the same <laughs> right, yeah, uh, tempo. And then Dustin, and then Dustin does, does a, nice a great job cut. cutting them in, and I think that side by side, this the seamless flow really yeah. provides a great 
Um, and we are low budget. We're, <laughs> we're using an iPhone yeah. here, people. We're just, yeah, you know, iPhone. we're just trying to this work with our what we got yeah, This is, uh, pulled this off the shelf. Yeah. Um, but really appreciate it. Well, tell us Dustin's real quick. Work. We should tell people what is your guitar. Okay. Okay. We'll talk custom. about it a little bit more. But this is yeah. uh, this is an HD28 custom. Yeah. It's based on what they used to call the LSV model, the large sound hole yep. version or variant or whatever. Yep. And the There's large a Clarence White model, right. large and that's, sound hole. Right. That's yeah. where it that's where uh, started. It started with Clarence's original. I guess it was an HD28. And yep. he beat it so hard that he wore. Uh, yep away the edge of the sound hole so he just trimmed it out yep. ended up with this larger sound hole allegedly became... theoretically it provides a different sound it's adirondack top forward shifted scalloped x bracing yeah. um, it's just a good old hd28 but the thing you notice too the neck it's it's got a surprisingly wide neck I, yeah and i don't even know what that profile is it feels wider i even, mm -hmm. we even had to measure the nut to make sure because it felt wider than one and three quarters. And when you, yeah, but especially as you move profile. up the neck, um, I don't know. It just it to me when I wrap around it, it feels big. And yeah. because I like to play finger style too, I like string separation because it helps you, yeah, not clutter up on you know, yeah, because it gets wide accidentally down fretting other strings. So okay, hey, we'll, like, we'll talk was about that like it a fifteen bit years old or so. I got it in two thousand three or four. Okay. And I, it had probably been sitting on the shelf uh, at that music shop for, I don't know, six months. I got to get it out east? Or? Back, uh, yeah. A place called Bose Strings, uh -huh. which is no longer existent, yeah. uh, existence in Frederick, Maryland. Nice. Uh, Bo was this neat old guy, ran a small acoustic music shop. And yeah. Yeah, it was. And that was it? The, was well, that your dream guitar? This Well, it turned into my dream guitar. And it's funny because um, when, when I picked this one up, it was, um, he had another Martin that was a little bit, less expensive mm -hmm. um and it came down to playing it and hearing the difference between adirondack and a straight i don't know if it was sitka or engelman yeah but i like the adirondack yeah. si sound better uh and then as we've discussed this with before when you're buying a guitar it's a different sound from this perspective than it is from you know having somebody else play it so that was the big uh Right. Selling point was having somebody else play it, sit in front and be like, wow, right. it's a, you get a whole different sound that way. Cool. Anyway. Good. I like it. And uh, thank you. Yeah, you bet. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. And uh, we'll come up with some more blindfold <laughs> taste testing uh, videos. So yeah. Yeah. You're a good sport. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks.